Hey guys, welcome back to Cambodia. Today we're gonna to be going on a little adventure to an island called Silk Island, where there's a farm where they have worms and they make silk. Also, our three boys are not gonna be going with us because they've already been out there numerous times and it takes about an hour and a half to drive there. And it's not, they wouldn't enjoy it. So they're gonna be staying back here with Ming or their aunt. So yeah, they're taken care of if you wonder where they are. She's gonna take them swimming and our boys love swimming. They are little fish in the water. The team that was here that did BBS, I posted a video of that. They're gonna be going with us along out to Silk Island. So if you see them in the clips, that's who they are if you wonder who they are. And I may not post this video for two weeks yet, but yeah. Um, at the time that we filmed this, they were still here, but by the time this video goes up, they'll probably be back in America. Creed is right over here in the room with me, so if you hear him, um, that's he's just right here. Creed likes to be right beside his mom. He's my little curly-haired shadow. <laughs> also, I wanted to say that I'm going to be doing a giveaway in next week's video, so make sure you stay tuned and watch that one to participate in the giveaway if you want. And I'll let you guys know in that video what the giveaway is. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy coming with us to Silk Island today. <laughs> All right, so is it your turn to film that? Yeah. Hey, folks, I'm going to follow me or do you have a little bit? They both are going to follow you. Hey guys, so I'm going to try to explain to you guys what is happening. 
This is our tour guide. He is telling us about the silkworms that make the silk. These are the eggs. As you can see, they're really, really tiny. These are the worms. I know it's pretty gross, but yeah, there's tons and tons of them. And they feed them these leaves that they grow right here on the property. They have a bunch more of these baskets with worms in the cages behind us. And then these are the cocoons that the worms make. And this is what they make the silk from. The worms, they make their cocoons in branches like this, and then they hang them up to dry. They have a beautiful yellow color. They're really soft. Then next we went over here to where they start processing the silk. So they have a fire underneath this kettle where they keep the water pretty warm, kind of smoldering in there, to soften the silk. And um, then they use a leaf to pull like a little strand up and get it started and going around that wheel. As you can see, this girl here is showing us. The string is really, really thin. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to show you guys. Uh oh, I think I broke the string. So she's using a leaf there to dip in the hot kettle to pull one out. She was trying to just get one, but she got too wow, many. <laughs> so many. They're really sticky. So then Erica decided to try to give it a go. It's rough silk. You look. You look like your horse hair. So our tour guide is saying that Cambodia is one of the few countries that still makes silk completely from hand. So our tour guide said that purple is made from the fruit mangosteen, red is from dragon fruit, this is just the natural color, green, I forget what he said it's made from, but green and yellow is then used to make the blue. So they take this, and then this is the raw from the outside, it's really coarse, and this here is from the inside of the cocoon, and it's really, really soft, like how, how silk is. These are all different colors. They used to wrap them on bamboo, but now they do it on plastic. Nikon Bong? Nikon? No? This lady is showing us how they do it, talking about the little boys sitting over there watching us. I'm asking her if this is her son, and she said no. He's one of the other lady's sons. So then over here is where they weave the silk. Um, they're making, this lady's making a skirt. It takes them a really long time to make one skirt. And as you can see, this lady is weaving the pattern, the flowers and stuff, right into the material. And it's really complicated um, to do it. The tour guide said it's why women do it, because it's a job you have to be able to multitask at. You gotta move your hands and move your feet, and you gotta keep switching the pattern depending where you are at in the flower. And he said that it's hard for men to do it. <laughs> he was laughing when he said it. But yeah, as you can see, it's a lot of different things to keep track of. Try to count one more time. One, two, three, yes, and four. Stop and change another pattern. From the first pattern to the end, one flower appear, and she try to change back. Try to count back, and then another pattern. So they make skirts and scarves and table runners, all different kinds of things out of silk. Different colors, different patterns. It's so pretty. They use rice water to dump over the strings to make them a little bit more like starch so they don't break too easy. These are houses and the women long ago used to live in the houses and work down below. Now they more live in the surrounding villages and just come here to work. There's a lot of animals and stuff around there. This place had a lot of um, fresh fruit and stuff growing around there. This is orange. So this is in the gift shop and they have all different kinds of silk scarves you can buy. Amazing, beautiful patterns and textures. After the price and after the quality of silk, you know, you can explain for you. We understand this. But the, the edge, right? This is... Oh, the edge is silver. Yeah, this, this... Dewey's discussing with the tour guide, you can tell by the edge whether it's real silk or not. We have elephant pants, which a lot of tourists like to get. This is a tissue box. These are wallets. I thought they were pretty neat. I like wallets where you can have your Khmer money on one side and your USD money on the other side. These are wallets made from silk. We're all this tail is messed up. 
Oh my goodness, we're holding hands. Why are they like, biting us? I don't know. And yeah, they had like a park there then beside it and with various animals, all different kinds of animals. It was fun to see. They had these beautiful swings you can sit on and there's like restaurants you can order food at and stuff. You can go swimming down there in the water if you want and they have hammocks you can lay in. It's very relaxing. It's the kind of place you're supposed to come and just spend the day chilling. So in these things here, you can like have a picnic in there or order food from the restaurant, sit in there for the day and chill. So they're kind of for tourists, you can rent them. This is an alligator or a crocodile, I'm not sure. Coconut tree, I love all the greenery and all the birds, all the nature sounds. Where are they, right? All right. And then that's all, folks. We are loading back up in our tuk-tuks, and we're going to go head out for lunch. I'll show you guys a little bit of what we ate for lunch. It says fried rice. This was a coconut soup with pumpkin and chicken and other veggies. And this is fried noodles with veggies and chicken. And it was all really good. This is the place we ate lunch at, and it's also a little hotel. And they have a little gazebo here. One year we came out here and had an Easter sunrise service and this little gazebo. They have a nice pool. It was really hot and sweaty that day and this pool looks so inviting. I just wanted to jump in. <laughs> and beautiful views from their rooms. So if you ever come to Cambodia, go to Silk Island and stay at this little place. Definitely recommend it. And then we're loading up to head back home again. Hey guys, so we're back home now again and I showered, changed my clothes because I got all hot and sweaty out there. But we had a really good trip, it was a lot of fun. Um, we stopped and got passion fruit juice on the way home. This is a big cup of it and it is so good. It was a really good time out there at the soap farm and then also at the restaurant. I hope you guys enjoyed it also. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys again next week on Friday. And to see more videos, remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you, bye!